Welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we embark on an in-depth exploration of Myanmar's dynamic economy, delving into its industries, government policies, import-exports, and resource management. Join us as we uncover the intricate systems of Myanmar's economy. Plus, don't forget, you can create your own map with us and enter it for a chance to win this season's prize packs. So let's dive in and chart our course to learning. Myanmar's real GDP growth has been low and volatile, averaging around 1.5% per year from 2019 to 2023, primarily due to political instability and the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the economy is expected to record a GDP growth of 2.3% in 2023 as the country gradually stabilizes. Inflation is projected to be 6.2% in 2023 and is expected to slightly decrease to 5.8% in 2024 as supply chains stabilize. Despite political challenges and global economic fluctuations, Myanmar has shown progress in structural reforms in macroeconomic management. Myanmar's economy is gradually recovering and an analysis of its industries, manufacturing capabilities, and service sector reveals promising developments. The country's market is emerging with unexploited natural resources and significant investment opportunities in sectors such as oil, gas, energy, telecommunications, and tourism. Its strategic location between India and China positions Myanmar as a potential trade hub in Southeast Asia. The manufacturing sector in Myanmar is in the process of rebuilding driven by human capital and gradual political stabilization. Efforts are being made to promote manufacturing as a pathway for economic development, with policy and workforce development strategies being suggested to overcome existing constraints. The service sector, particularly telecommunications and financial services, has shown resilience and growth. This sector benefits from a high rate of entrepreneurship and a strong business culture, supported by a young and dynamic population. Additionally, a large diaspora contributes to the economy through capital infusions, known knowledge transfers, and skill applications. Agriculture remains the backbone of Myanmar's economy, contributing significantly to the total GDP and employment. The country boasts over 12 million hectares of arable land, which is a significant resource for the agricultural sector. Myanmar's top five industries show a mix of growth and challenges, reflecting the nation's economic landscape. Agriculture has demonstrated resilience despite facing environmental challenges. Growth in this sector is primarily driven by heightened demand in neighboring countries. Telecommunications, another key industry, has experienced significant growth thanks to heavy investments in innovation, making it one of the fastest growing sectors in the region. The rapid expansion of mobile money services is a notable success in this industry. The mining industry, supported by Myanmar's extensive mineral reserves, has potential for growth but has struggled with challenges related to regulatory frameworks and environmental concerns. Similarly, the tourism industry is, a, is crucial for both the local economy and foreign exchange earnings. Despite its growth potential, it faces significant challenges from the political instability in infrastructure deficits. The energy sector, particularly renewable energy, is emerging with substantial growth potential. However, it is still in the early development stages and faces hurdles related to infrastructure and investments. There are also key business and investment opportunities in the development of economic infrastructure, including roads, airports, and seaports, public sector financing, and partnerships with local contractors for road machinery, equipment, and engineering services present areas of potential growth. Moving over to government policies, Myanmar's government 
has implemented several policies aimed at expanding the economy and has entered into various agreements with foreign com countries to enhance trade and investment. Myanmar is a member of the Association of Southeastern Asian Nation, or ASEAN, and has approved the ratification of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, of, or RCEP. The country is also actively engaged in bilateral and multilateral trade agreements to integrate further into regional trade. In 2016, Myanmar passed a new investment law to promote and protect foreign investments, offering incentives such as tax advantages and guarantees against expropriations. Additionally, Myanmar is working through the accession stages to join the World Trade Organization, or WTO, a move expected to open up more opportunities for international trade and investment. Furthermore, the World Bank has provided a collection of policy notes for the Myanmar government, which includes strategies for job creation, private investments, federalism, public financial management, trade, integration, and infrastructure development. These policies are designed to connect workers to jobs, support resilience, and drive growth through urbanization, upgrading, and diversification. These efforts reflect Myanmar's commitment to expand its economy by creating a conducive environment for trade and investments, both regionally and globally. The government's focus on macroeconomic stability, debt relief, and infrastructure development is crucial for attracting foreign investment and promoting sub sustainable ec economic growth. Myanmar's financial debt levels have seen significant changes over the years. Historically, Myanmar has struggled with high levels of external debt. In 2020, the country's external debt was approximately 10.7 billion US dollars. Efforts to reduce this debt have been made through international assistance and debt restructuring programs. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, and the World Bank have supported Myanmar's economic reform agenda, which includes measures to manage debt levels and improve public financial management. These initiatives are aimed at ensuring long-term economic stability and growth. Now let's look at imports and exports. In 2024, Myanmar's top exports include natural gas, garments, rice, jade, and teakwood, with natural gas accounting for approximately 40% of total export revenue. The garment industry, benefiting from low labor costs, contributes significantly to export earnings, particularly to European and North American markets. Rice remains a staple export, with Myanmar being one of the top ex rice exporters in Southeast Asia. The country's rich deposits of jade and gemstones including rubies and sapphires, are also notable exports, although the, the sap sector faces challenges from illicit trade. The main import partners are China, Thailand, Singapore, Japan, and India, with China accounting for nearly 33% of Myanmar's total imports. Imports primarily include machinery and equipment, refined petroleum, vehicles, iron and steel products, oh, and consumer goods. Thailand supplies a significant portion of Myanmar's imported fuel, while Singapore is a key source of electronics and fi financial services. Japan and India are also critical suppliers of industrial machinery and pharmaceuticals. The economy of Myanmar is heavily dependent on trade with imports representing around 50% of GDP and exports contributing about 20% of GDP. This trade is vital for Myanmar's economic growth and development, providing necessary goods for local market and generating foreign exchange through exports. The trade balance is influenced by the country's strategic location and its integration into regional supply chains, particularly within the ASEAN economic community. Myanmar's natural resources are diverse and hold great potential. 
Although they remain largely untapped due to various challenges, Myanmar has significant reserves of minerals, including jade, rubies, sapphires, and other gemstones. There is also potential for oil and gas reserves, giving Myanmar strategic location in geological conditions. However, the exploitation of these resources has been hindered by regulatory challenges, environmental concerns, and political instability. Efforts are being made to attract foreign investments and develop sustainable practices to harness these resources for economic growth. As we conclude our investigation of Myanmar's economy, we're inspired by the nation's enduring spirit and unwavering pursuit of progress. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus material on all our subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.